Can you tell the difference between these two notes? The circulation of counterfeit notes in Australia has increased fourfold over the last three years. Most recently, Queensland has seen a rise in fake 50s. Although the design of Australian notes is thought to be one of the most secure currencies in the world, it doesn't stop copycats printing fakes. For more on this, we are joined by consumer affairs commentator Joe Uchukolo. Joe, firstly, as everybody dives into their wallet to check their 50s, <laughs> yeah, right. um, can you be reimbursed if you accidentally end up with a fakie? Unfortunately, if you're at the end of the food chain with that counterfeit note, that's it. It's effectively like being robbed. You have this, you know, dodgy note that you can't redeem at a store and can't put into your bank account. All right, so what's the protocol? If you think you've got a counterfeit note, what do you do? So. Well, once you've got one, the best thing to do is try to handle it as little as possible. Mm -hmm. So pop it into an envelope, a new all used, and then take it to either the state police or hand it into the federal police. All right, okay. what are we looking for with these notes? What are the telltale signs that you, you might not have the real deal? Okay, so remember when these plastic notes first came out and how excited we were around this new technology and new things to look out for? It's a great time to get the kids involved and have a look to see what these safety measures are in our currencies. But basically, our notes are now printed on plastic. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a clear facing window with uh, stars that all line up to a seven pointed star. The the plastic window shouldn't rub off, it shouldn't appear to be separate from the rest of the note. Um, and we do have serial numbers on our, our currencies, so the printing should be good quality, definitely not made of paper. There's, there's quite a few checks and balances in there, so get your kids looking at, at your notes in your wallet tonight. Right. It's, well, it's funny because, as you say this, as Tommy said, everyone wanted to be feeling, and it's almost a good reminder to actually try and feel your notes because you typically don't. Someone gives them to you, you shove them in your wallet, you don't hand them back out. That's probably the only time you feel it very briefly. Exactly. So the thing is, these counterfeit notes get passed from person to person and it's really the person at the end when the poor quality note then gets detected. So it is a great reminder to just have a quick glance. Like you said, Sally, have a feel. If it feels wrong, have a look look for something that might be missing. Now, the Governor's signature is always above the Secretary to the Treasuries. True or false? This one is false. So oh. we saw our notes change in 2002. Two. So the signatures are now above. So, yeah. All right. Okay. What about because um, there are often like there's myths about stuff like that. People always go, oh no, it's a six star, not a seven star. But you're saying it's always seven. Yes, that's right. So okay. there's plenty of myths going around about our currency. It's really interesting, isn't it? There's plenty of people collecting the currency. So I guess there's just as many enthusiasts who are, are keen to know. You know, yeah, what's going on for with sure. Yeah. Um, what about the consequences for somebody if you're out there, uh, you know, seeing them around everywhere? What's going to happen to you if you so get busted? If you're a counterfeiter, it could be imprisonment for up to 15 years. You could have to pay restitution. It stays on your permanent record. It's not a good thing to do. Um, but for, for everybody at home, it's also considered an offence to get caught with counterfeit um, notes as well. So. You know, obviously those penalties don't apply if you just happen to have one note, but y you should be trying to protect <coughs> everyone out there by trying to avoid um, dealing with currencies. Mm. And if someone does try to hand you a counterfeit note, you've got the right to refuse that and say, no, no, and give me another and one. And counterfeit yell, counterfeiter, counterfeiter. Yeah. Get the cops, you're mixed. <laughs> Try that, Sally, yeah, next time you're at the shop. Like you, um, you can't also, though, even, you're not allowed to photocopy money, right? Even if it's play money, even if you're saying, oh, kids, listen, look, we're not, you're not allowed to do that, right? That's because we're trying not to encourage counterfeiting of our, our, our currencies or any currency that, that should be... Um, that should be made clear, yes. All right, good stuff. Queenslanders, you've been warned. It's all happening apparently in a, in a large effect up in Queensland. Joe, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure.